Um, got a couple of things. First thing I've got to say is that mental health affects all of us, regardless of uh, our background, our circumstances, our stories. Um, and I just hope that if there's one good thing that comes out of this pandemic, we start treating mental health like physical health, in the sense that uh, we don't just take it for granted until it starts going wrong. Thank you for opening the conversation about these taboo topics and, yeah, toxic masculinity. Like, we need to talk more about it and express who we are and just feel confident with our skin and be ourselves. Don't always think about it, just do it. I think just have a little bit of empathy. If we can kind of empathise towards other pe people's struggles, because usually we don't know them, then that's a good starting point. There's not one way to handle your emotions. Um, the way I handle mine might not be good for you, and the way someone else handles theirs might not be good for me. Um, but I think the biggest key is to figure out how you can, um, I don't know, not, not control them, but work with them rather than always being at, at odds with yourself sort of thing. Yeah. I think we should listen more and talk less. And by hearing other people, we can then be better at responding and adapting ourselves to other people's wants and needs rather than assuming or putting our own views and ideals onto them. If whatever's been made today is helpful, embrace it. Um, find who you are and, and love yourself. Um, and don't be a stranger to yourself as well. Life is short and enjoy your body. And you know, you've got to give up on what other people think at one point. Make it today. <laughs> we are treated differently from the beginning. So everything you're taught about what a man is and what a woman is, you're taught. It's not biological, it's not genetic, right? You can be a caring, loving, nurturing man. You can be a woman who likes punching things in football, right? It's not about your bollocks and your bits. and It's all rubbish. So be happy with who you are. Be proud of who you are. And if you think I don't agree with the stereotype, don't be it. Be what you want. I think it was really, really kind of to each other by starting to be kinder to ourselves. I think we have to change that narrative that we have to look after us, everyone else and not ourselves. I think it all starts from the inner self and we really have to change that narrative and say, yes, it's okay to rest. It's okay to grieve. It's okay to be interdependent with each other and everyone in nature. And I think that's where we start just starting to be much kinder to ourselves. When you're constantly being defined by what you can't do, that's very dangerous and, I'm, and it's not the full picture. For any person, whether disabled or not, you've got to see their strengths and weaknesses combined. Because I am more than the sum total of my faults. And you know what? You are too. And I want you to know that.